Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a resin pour on a vase, and hopefully you notice, but I have a silicone mold underneath to catch the runoff. This is a two for one project. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and I started off with a little bit of clear on the vase just to help it run. And I'm just using three colors today. So I'm using white, which is Illumilite white resin dye. Then I'm using purple, which is Illumilite purple resin dye and polycolor purple mica powder. And then I'm using black, which is Illumilite black resin dye. And I am just circling through those three colors. Um, I put a little bit of clear in between as well. Now I wanted the black in there, but didn't want it to be very, very pronounced. So as I was pouring my colors, I tried to be a little more careful with the black. It's the color that I used the least. Um, at this point, I used a little bit of a heat gun to help that resin run out of the strainer. And this is just a sink strainer. I get them on Amazon. They're really fun to use. And you can clean it out with alcohol afterwards so that it can be reused. So I ended off with the white and purple, but unfortunately the black ended up kind of taking over. I let that run down for a few minutes and then I removed the strainer. At this point I could have added a little more resin, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like the vase or not once it was dry. So I decided to just leave it as is and then see how it was when it was dry. Then I tilted my silicone mold until I was happy with my design. You could put something hard underneath to tilt it like that, but I prefer this method. And then I added the handles. You can also screw the handles in after the project is dry, but I prefer this method. Once the vase was dry, I was not really happy with the design. It was definitely too dark and I didn't quite get the lines that I was going for. So I decided to work on it a little bit more. And I thought, why not go ahead and make a matching set of coasters? So I put the vase up on a plastic cup into a coaster mold and poured very little amounts of the resin through and um, just was really intent on not putting too much black in this time. So it's mostly white and purple with just a little bit of black and I didn't pour too much on it because these coaster molds don't take a lot of resin. And you can probably see here, I got a gorgeous design I was much, much, much happier with. It's going to change as it dries because the resin will continue to move down. I did lightly torch it to get rid of air bubbles. You want to go very light on the torching or it can run a little too much and blend too much. So at this point, I could tell I was probably going to be pretty happy with the design, even though I knew it would change a bit and darken. I lifted it out of my coaster molds and then I took the remaining resin, poured them all together into a cup and poured that into the coaster molds. Um, I don't use a torch on the silicone molds. I use isopropyl alcohol to remove the air bubbles. So that's what I did there. And then I put just a top clear coat on the tray to fill it in completely. You could always add sparkles or something like that to this, but I liked it as is. So here are the projects completely dry. This is the tray. I think it is very beautiful. Um, and actually you're gonna be surprised probably in a minute looking at the bottom of it. It's pretty darn cool. One of the cool things about these trays though is they could actually be used in either direction. You can use it this way um, just to display whatever, or you could use it as a raised tray. Look at that, it looks like an eyeball. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. So um, either way, I really, really like how that came out. Now the coasters, I was pretty uncertain about and honestly not a huge fan of them. Um, I liked the bottoms a little more than I liked the top. The resin didn't quite blend like I wanted to on those. But once again, you could use these from either direction and they're not bad. So there's the coasters and then here is the vase, which I am very, very happy with love 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 the design on this love the colors came out perfectly now i leave these drips on the top i like it as part of the design but feel free to sand them off if you want um it's all just a matter of personal preference so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it i'll see you all next time